Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Bods. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join us for another minifigure Monday. And this week is a series 10 minifigure. It's the Tomahawk Warrior. So when I showed this to Ian, he said that the Tomahawk looked pre pretty good. Um, but was it was it accurate? Um, is that what a Tomahawk looks like? And you know, I have no idea why he was asking me because I am no expert on Tomahawks. But I think it's recognisable as a tomahawk. Um, he likes the mohawk on the character, and I like the mohawk. But Ian likes it for a different reason to me. I, I think it just makes the character look good. Whereas he goes, oh, look, I can use it as a sea caterpillar under the sea. Because he's all about his underwater scene. So different perspectives, I guess. The arm detailing is good. You've got on both sides. I quite like this left hand, this side better than the other side. I don't know why. This one feels more um, Mel C to me than the other side. <laughs> Quite a random reference. Um, sort of red um, face paint going on. And kind of looks like they've um, got mascara running down their face. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is. But um, that's kind of the look to me. And so again, more painting on the chest. Um, the sort of feather necklace. The, I want to say chaps. Are they chaps? They look kind of chappy, but I'm not sure. Um, with the sort of cut out bits. So they've got covered back, but a little bit of a breeze going on on their trousers. Just as you would, I guess, expect. I think you kind of lose the detail of the fact that they've got quite a lot of muscles going on underneath all the sort of tattooing. But I think they, they're quite obviously a, a very active warrior. I think it's going to be a tricky one to fit into our city. I think I'm going to put it with all the other sort of similar figures over in maybe the island area where you've got sort of the totem poles and things. I don't think I'm going to end up a very uh, historically accurate island because I'm going to guess that just putting them all together because I think they go together isn't technically correct. But I guess I could also put them in the, the museum that we're going to make because it Again, as a historical character. I think they're a bit too angry to go anywhere else. I think they might scare some children if they were just on the streets. Especially sort of wielding that tomahawk quite like that. So what do you think of the tomahawk warrior? Uh, where would you put them in your city? Let me know in the comments below. If you like Minifigure Mondays, also check out the rest of our Minifigure Monday playlist. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.